Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Surprising news just now out of uh, Trump's Justice Department, and it's not that they're still legally allowed to call it justice. The... <laughs> is it the Post? The Washington Post is reporting that Trump is likely to appoint as his new attorney general William P. Barr. Yes, the same William P. Barr you've never heard of. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. And... Barr already knows his way around the joint because he served as attorney general from 1991 to 1993 under then-president George H.W. Bush. Wait a second. Did Trump only go to the funeral to look for an attorney general? <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, 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 right. I get it. No, no. Uh, sad, 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 sad. Anyway, <laughs> who here has an up-to-date resume and knows how to fire Robert Mueller, okay? <laughs> you're in. You're it. Tag. All right, Here, here's, here's how we know uh, uh, this is the case. The Post spoke to two people familiar with the decisions who said the president has told advisors in recent days that he plans to nominate Barr. So there it is. Mm -hmm. It's either William P. Barr or Attorney General Roseanne. <laughs> wow. don't, don't lower the ball. Don't lower the ball. If it doesn't work out, they can just say her character died. But, but, that's what happened, right? She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. But Bill Barr isn't exactly champing at the bit for the gig. Word is, Barr, having already been attorney general, doesn't feel a particular ambition for the position, but does feel a sense of duty to take it if offered. No ambition for the job, but you'll take it. An attitude we in the biz call the Melania. Speaking of... Okay. Be best. Be best. <laughs> Speaking of uh, George H.W., his memorial uh, was a moving tribute to a man who believed in humility and public service. You know who wasn't so moved? Uh, Donald Trump. According to administration officials, Trump has been snappish with AIDS most of this week, miffed in part by so many ceremonial events not related to him. <laughs> look, look, I know it's a funeral, but why aren't they talking about me, okay? <laughs> I got my hair off a dead guy, okay? <laughs> to me, open casket. <laughs> open casket is just a toupee buffet. AIDS, Ugh. AIDS added that Trump was impatient for the memorials to end, but expressed pride in himself for remaining publicly civil. <laughs> That's how far we've fallen. We've gone from a thousand points of light to congratulate me, I didn't eat nachos off the casket. <laughs> but Trump wasted no time changing the subject back to himself. Last night, he tweeted, 50% approval rating, working hard, thank you. Weird flex, but okay. 50%? That's like saying, I have two children, one of them still talks to me. Father of the year, please. Here's the thing. No, seriously, father of the year would be lovely. Here's the thing. This 50% number comes from the kind of dubious trump love and pollster Rasmussen reports but other recent polls have him at 39%. Still seems high. Mm. But <laughs> even that totally not true 50% wasn't good enough for Trump because he tweeted, without the phony Russia witch hunt and with all that we have accomplished in the last almost two years, tax regulation cash as much as my approval rating would be at 75%. <laughs> he's not... He's... He's not even trying that hard anymore. <laughs> Look, you would all like me a lot more if I were not me. 